Yeah, we just kids with a dream to get out. No, we gonna make it one day. I ain't got a doubt. I'ma do it for myself. I'ma do it for the crew. We don't care about you. We can see right through. We can see past the fakeness. On my way to greatness. Headed to the top like I'm Charlie getting weightless. Trying to get famous. Put me on a wait list. Fuck with a gang in my youngin'. What's up guys, it's me Andrew back with another video, so today we're going to be up in Lightroom, which is on screen right now. Basically I'm going to be editing photos, and yeah, I'm going to start out with w what I have, I only have 12 photos to edit, but um, let's just get into this. So I'm going to be showing you basically how I edit my photos. I do a lot of mine for posting on Instagram. If you know, that's because you follow me on Instagram. So... Alright. Now the first thing that I usually do is I would drop the highlights and drop the whites. And that usually can reveal some clouds or whatever. It, it usually reveals some clouds. Up the shadows, drop that exposure. Trying to get this area to lighten up. It looks a little off right now, so I'm just going to bring it up slowly. That looks decent. Um, it's still got a nice shadow to it, I guess. I was trying to kind of get these like dark spots reset. I'm sorry that I'm not used to talking while editing. I have just been editing by myself pretty much in my room so that's why I'm not talking too much with the edits so I do apologize for that but um, I'm gonna start trying to do more videos like this and I did take this out of the Canon so what you are seeing is from the Rebel T7. I do t enjoy taking photos. Um, this is just a back road that gets traveled a lot, believe it or not. But, like, as you can see right here, there is a car. I don't remember which way it was going, it was going that way. Um, I don't think on Instagram it's going to be too much of a distractor, but we're going to try and do the healing tool on it. Okay, and then when it's blown back up, that just gets rid of that entire eyesore. I actually removed a bunch of people out of one of my photos, so it, it I believe it is on Instagram, because I was proud of it, and I had removed a bunch of people out of an ocean, and there was a bunch of waves, so it was kind of hard to make it look good, but it was also moving, so it didn't have to look super good. Um... This bl how dark the blue is is just annoying me. There. That's better.
That's better. Okay. Yeah, I like how this looks. Alright, we're gonna take this photo here, rotate it, do a 4x5, crop it. I'm trying to get over so that this is centered as best as possible. Alright, that's pretty decent. Um, do the first two things that I like to do and then we'll also drop some of the blacks drop the shadows reset the blacks and bring them down slowly reset the shadows drop those slowly see these are the dark dark greens that I was trying to get out of it to begin with. Those look more realistic. Now I'm gonna try and get those clouds to kind of come out. I'd say that looks pretty good still for just a healing brush. I'd say that looks pretty good, honestly. Um, one thing I'm gonna do is bump up the blue again. Personally, I'm doing like a moody kind of photo, so that's why you'll see on my Instagram more of the kind of the darkness being tilted here. So like where this is all coming together, I would do like this and maybe stretch it out a little bit more. And then I'll go back in with about the same-ish tilt and try and black out the corner. This way that that one corner is completely black and it leads kind of into the photo. And I might do another one kind of like that. And then if one spot gets a little too dark, you can always go back in with the oval mask and just lighten it up a little bit. But like right here where it's really dark, you can go back over it with the um, radial gra gradient and just bump up the exposure a little bit so it's not super dark. Then boom, you have another photo for Instagram. These will be up on my Instagram later. You can follow me at Andy's Videos and Photos on Instagram. That will be all for this video, guys. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace!